<laughs> Good morning. This is always that awkward time, unless you're watching it later after it's already happened. During this time that it's live, it's waiting for that first person to start watching the live video. It is Taste Test Tuesday, and I'm waiting for my pal Tristy, who's goofing off over there on her computer to, to join me, but she, she thinks that as long as no one's watching, <laughs> she doesn't need to be here. No, so, I just don't want to But now today. Dale Watson is watching, so now you must come over. All right. And uh, yeah, so the whole idea behind Taste Test Tuesday is we'll try dumb things so you don't have to to give you our opinion on it. Now, looking at what I have for Tristy to try today, I already know, knowing her palate, you're not going to like this. Your palate? Okay. You're not well, gonna, I'm not only, gonna only because like I think it. we've talked about this before. Oh. Uh, when it, hey, in the comments, this is licorice today from Australia. In the comments, write down if you are a red licorice, a black licorice, or a no licorice kind of person. Hmm. All right. So this one is RJ's, um, what's it say? New Zealand's finest. So actually it's from New Zealand, technically. Uh, the original soft eating licorice, it's plant-based. Just reading the package. There, I am non-GMO <laughs> project verified. It's black licorice. Well, I'm trying to make it sound like it's almost good for you. Oh, okay. So you ready to try it? Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. We'll just open this right up. I should have thought to bring a knife and just cut I it. Have some but... scissors. <laughs> Go right here. Okay. You want some? That works. Here, let's just do this. Oh! How's that? You should show him do that again. Ooh. <laughs> that, that's right. the perfect way to split it up for your kids. It, no kids. Yeah, oh, look, and, and you, you can, still have and a you can push it up, too. and you don't get your fingers sticky. Even if this is gross, today has been a success. It has. Just for this hack right here. Okay. Generally, I don't like black licorice. My very favorite licorice is the strawberry Twizzlers. Ooh. That was what my mom always had on road trips. And so that's Would you get I that like. at the movie theaters, too? Uh, no, that's hot tamales and popcorn at oh. the movies. But anyway. Okay. So I don't generally like it, but you do, right? You like black licorice. Black licorice is, oh man, it smells so good. Wait, you know, it smells like good and plenties. Is that what good and plenties are? <laughs> yes, that's what good and plenties are. <laughs> Except they put candy on the candy outside. Candy on of the them. outside. Okay, <laughs> make them look prettier. Now I'm embarrassed. Oh my goodness. Meg, thank you. Black licorice. Yes, everyone chime in black, red, or no. Ready? Are you going to eat it? Let's go. Okay. Oh, it's soft. Mm -hmm. See, I was kind of thinking it was going to be hard, mm -hmm. which I've just been having some jaw issues, so I'm not supposed to eat really chewy stuff. This is soft. Mm hmm. I don't like black licorice, but this is pretty good. What? It was pretty good. You heard it here. So it's RJ's. Now, I know this is always backwards when we do this, but that's what it looks like. Look at this in your mirror. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Mm. Now, we have a few things that we've learned today. One, good and plenty's are black licorice. Uh -huh. Maybe I'm the only one who learned that today. And you can just cut right through the wrappers when your kids are going to share something like a granola bar or whatever. Just make sure the scissors are clean. These have been in the studio. We have no idea what they've cut. Great. So we're living on the edge. We'll let you know. So you really like it? Yeah, I had two bites. Are you going to eat the rest of it? Why, do you want mine? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Secretly, I was hoping that she <laughs> wasn't going to like it. I could have eaten the whole, mm -hmm. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Taste Test Tuesday. You can cut through the wrappers and cut up food for your kids. Mm-hmm. And black licorice isn't that bad. I never would have thought. I never would have thought. I mean, if there were Twizzlers here, I'd have those. All right. Feel free to, in the comments to give us your thoughts on licorice. Yeah, weigh in. I mean, you know what it tastes like. Mm. Even if it's not this brand. Man. I just want to sit here and let you watch me eat Teresa more of this. Teresa Schmidt says black licorice is a big no. Oh, okay. come on, Teresa. I would have said the same thing, actually, before I just had this, so... So what Tristy's saying is, 
says, you should probably try this. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Jess. Come on. Gotta it's give not it a that chance. bad. Give it a chance. I, I have been transformed today by the eating of this <laughs> licorice. Really? I love but that. I think maybe I'll have to go to New Zealand now. I mean, it's the natural next step. Yeah. To eating New Zealand licorice is to go. To New Zealand? To New Zealand. I mean, right. is my logic just kind of making sense there? If anyone knows if this is even available in the Treasure Valley, mm. RJ's Black Licorice. Maybe, yeah. tra maybe Trader Joe's has it or something. Yeah, it looks like a wrapper from there, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Anyway, let us know. Places. Okay, so that is it. Taste Test Tuesday. Another one is in the books and <laughs> in the tummy. Mm -hmm. All right, have a great day.